Welcome back, fellow milk drinkers, to yet another Monday Milk Review. My name is Jacob, and today we're going to be returning to look at the Oak Plus Nutrigrain. This is actually a new flavor. We have looked at the original Nutrigrain flavor by Oak. You would honestly be hard pressed to tell the two apart because visually they look almost identical. I think this one's a little darker in color, but they still have the absolute visual diarrhea of a design that plagued the last one. I'm not gonna get into another minute long rant about how awful this is designed. Check out that last video if you want to hear why I hate its visual design. As this is one of the Oak Plus range, it is designed for an audience which I don't really fit into. I think the everyman doesn't actually care about this stuff and I'm sure that there's people out there who will be like, no, it's super important, but it really isn't to most people. like. Who gives a crap about 30 gram protein in a flavored milk? I just want to drink flavored milk because I like flavored milk. Cracking it open. Whoa, that's a very weird flavor to smell. You've got that hint of Nutrigrain, but the chocolate is really quite present as well. It kind of reminds me of cheap chocolate ice cream. Did Billabong used to do... Do what? Make flavored ice cream? I, I think they did. Yeah, they did. Maybe that flavored ice cream. There's something a little bit off about it, and I think that would be the hints of the Nutrigrain. Let's pour it in. A very, very dark mist mixture, as you can see. Let's give it a sniff from the glass. I feel like the Nutrigrain flavor has kind of toned down a little once in the glass, as has the chocolate, but it doesn't really dramatically transform in any way. But now the question on my mind, and possibly yours, how does it taste? Not good. That's not good. Whoa. So let me say this first. This is not gonna get rated too well. The thickness is really strange. It was far smoother than I expected, which was kind of off-putting. I honestly don't even know if I can taste the chocolate. It is so subtle that I could hardly even place it whatsoever. I don't even taste malt at all, and I think that's because it's being drowned out by that Nutrigrain flavor. It, it seems like the flavor is virtually not there. I can sort of understand that perhaps it's being really heavily masked. As for myself, I can't taste it. It's sort of like a product that obviously isn't meant to be chocolate, attempting to. That's the best way that I can explain it. The drink itself is actually not that thick and I think it's almost like a weird disconnect between the flavor and the actual viscosity. Whilst it is drinkable, it's not really something I enjoy. I definitely can finish this glass, but why? Why would I want to? It's such a strange tasting drink. I don't see the point. The issue with this drink is the Nutrigrain presence. There's certain cereals that you look forward to the milk afterwards and realistically, I don't think Nutrigrain is that cereal. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. Okay. Are you? Absolutely. Me? I'm that guy. Good on Oak for trying to do something different. To be honest, it's not a flavor that connects with me at all. The malt is completely drowned out by whatever that Nutrigrain flavor is supposed to be. Maybe they're assuming that the Nutrigrain is malt and they just haven't added a proper malt flavor in here. The chocolate itself doesn't taste like chocolate. It tastes like something pretending to be chocolate. Some people will argue, oh, that's all flavored milk, so pretending to be chocolate. No, you're wrong. Flat out, you're wrong. There's, there's a lot of flavored milks which actually do taste quite a bit like chocolate, and this certainly isn't one of them. With everything considered, I'm only gonna give this one a three and a half out of 10. It's honestly drinkable, but I don't see the point. There's so much better tasting flavored milks out there. I'm sure that Oak Plus's chocolate, just the standard, would be better than this and equal in protein. Just get the better tasting one. I, I don't know why you would go for this. It's, it's silly. That amount wraps us up for this week's episode of the Monday Milk Review. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to support me, feel free to like and maybe even subscribe. New episodes come out every Monday and I've always got another flavored milk to try. Believe me, it never ends. Thank you once again and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye bye. Oh. Damn it! <laughs>